Okay, so here's a quick little video I wanted to make about uh, what to do if the car battery dies. I know there's a bunch of videos out there, but I just wanted to make one for people to look up. It's going to be short and sweet and get to the point and show you how to get in and out pretty easily. It's going to show you what to do if the battery dies, how to get into the rear hatch, how to get in under the hood, how to get into your door, and how to open up your glove box too. Um, if the battery dies, the glove box isn't going to open. If you happen to have a car already, you need to get inside of it. There's a little, little way to get around it. But I've also heard of people's glove box latches having problems every once in a while. So there is a manual override to get to it. So I'm going to show you how to do all that. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you is the actual key itself. I'm sure plenty of people are familiar with this, but again, this is for the people who maybe might not be familiar with it, and just to show you how to do it. All your keys are going to look the same. They're going to come like that. Both keys, um, where you have uh, two keys with the car, are both going to be exactly the same. Really simple. Just take the cup, uh, fob, and you're going to see this little button on the side here. All you got to do is take that button, you press it, hold it down, and then the key is going to slide out, just like almost every other car manufacturer nowadays. This is the key that you're gonna to use to get into the certain places on the car that you might be locked out of because your battery is dead. Uh, both of these keys for both fobs are going to be exactly the same, so it does not matter which one you use. They should both be keyed correctly to the car. So the first thing I'm gonna show you back here is the back of the car. Um, I'm unfortunately not actually going to show you this, but if you need to get into the rear hatch, this is where you're going to get it. Um, behind your license plate, there is going to be a big um, area where you can stick your key in. The actual slot where you put the key in and you turn it is clear as day. It's very easy. The reason I'm not showing you is because this car is wrapped. So if I took the license plate off anyways, you wouldn't be able to see it because the wrap is covering it. So no point on me really doing that, so I'm not going to bother. But trust me, take the license plate off. You will see it. It is clear as day. It is impossible to miss. Just put your key in, turn it, and the trunk, uh, the rear hatch will pop open, allowing you to get inside the car from that point. Okay, so the next thing is going to be how you actually get inside the car. Because, of course, if you open the hatch, you're not going to be able to get into the car. This is how you would get inside and then ultimately open up the hood and let you get to where the battery is if you have to replace the battery. So the... Uh, keyhole is going to be underneath this cover right down here or underneath this uh, panel you'll see if you look up into it it's going to be right let's see if I can get a better angle right there don't know how well let me get the light out of the way there but right there so you can see it right there, that's going to be the hole where you uh, uh, put the key in. So when you get the key out, you're going to want to hold it in this position right here to the point where this little hook is going to be facing out. Face it out towards the car, stick it up, put it in there, and then once you get it in, if I can find it, I'm trying to do it one-handed. There we go. Turn it to the right towards the back of the car and the door will pop. Now, if you let go of it, what's going to happen too is that the latch isn't going to release all the way. So if you can, hold it towards the back of the car and hold it in that position while you are pulling on the door at the same time and that's how you'll get it open. Now, once you have the door open, in order to get the, tr the uh, hood open, there's a little cable underneath that's a manual release cable that's going to let you open it up and get to the battery ultimately. So, uh, what you do is go in here and you want to look underneath and you're going to look and find the steering column and look to the left. You're going to see that little cable has that loop on it. Pull that loop and it will open up the um, hood. But the thing about it is that because it's a dual latching uh, front hood, you have to pull it twice. So what you want to do is you're going to have to pull on it once, just like this. You're going to hear it pop and then let it go. And then pull on it again. And that'll release it a second time. I'll show you what I mean up front, but you are going to have to pull, release it, and then pull again. Otherwise, it's not going to open up. Okay, so here's what it looks from the outside. So what you're going to do is pull on it once, and it's going to release just like that. Now, I'm still holding on to the cable. Once I let it go, 
See, it settles again a little bit, then pull it again, and that second latch releases. Then let it go, and you should be good to go. Once you have the, both of them unlatched, go ahead and open it up. Now, should you not be able to get into your glove box, because again, the battery is dead, and you got to get in here to something to get something out, there is a way to get this open um, if the battery dies or if you have no other way to get into it. So, um, sometimes I've heard of people with their latches also failing, and then you push on the button right here, and it doesn't open. I'm not going to push on it because the battery is still connected, so obviously it's going to open. But here's what you do, obviously, if you push on the button and it doesn't work. Just take a little pry tool, uh, interior trim or whatever you have, Go in there, just pop this little cover off. Once you get that cover off, there's going to be a little uh, a hole right here. Kind of get to it right, right here. I'll get a closer image of it. So then you just take a ratchet, either a 9 16 or a 14 millimeter, uh, both will work. And you just put it in there, and you're gonna there's going to be a little uh, kind of plastic bolt looking thing. You're going to be able to get it on. Once you have it on there, just twist it to the left as if you were removing it. Once you go to the left, there it goes. Pops right open. Okay, again, here's just a little bit better of a view for you. Once you go in, you have that cover off. Here's that hole, and there is what you're going to be looking for. That little plastic, uh, it's actually connected to the actuator inside. It's just a little plastic bolt kind of looking thing. So here you can see the glove box is closed. Again, here. Go in, just put the socket right over it, oops, and turn it to the left as, as if you were loosening it, and it opens right up for you. So, quick and easy ways to get into your car if you get locked out. Hope this helps. Good luck.